much will this cost? How much will Americans have to pay on this, this price tag overall? Well, that, that, that remains to be determined, and it will be a function of what percentage of eligible borrowers actually take up this opportunity. $300 it, billion? It, they have to, we'll see what, when they take up the opportunity, we'll be able to give you uh, a much better sense but, but are of that. Ballpark I, at this point? I think it depends on the numbers. Like, it, you know, unfortunately, and I, we're here to encourage as many people to take it up as possible, if, if 43 million borrowers uh, take it up, uh, that'll be different than if 50% of those 43 million take it up. If it is 43 million, if I could just follow on, you know, if, if the full number of eligible uh, borrowers do take advantage of the program, what would the cost be? I, I, I can't give you that off the top of my head. Um, wait, wait, sorry. I thought you were running this. Yeah, I know, I know, she slipped in on me. You're, you're right, you're right. The overwhelming chorus of critics, Republicans right now, who say this is unfair, that there are people who decided to not go to college because they couldn't pay for it. There are people who decided to join the armed forces in lieu of going to college because they couldn't pay for it. And this leaves them behind. Is there inaccuracy in any of that? Yes, there is inaccuracy, that, but there's also a double standard. And this is a debate we are happy to have. This relief will be targeted to those who need it most. As I said, 90% of those who will benefit earn less than $75,000 a year. So this is not a giveaway to rich people. This is not uh, any of the things that uh, Republican critics have charged. Yes, those who have paid their loans back um, deserve uh, to, to be credited. That's fantastic. That's to their, uh, to their credit ever. And numerous experts affirm that restarting paused loan repayments at around the same time as we provide targeted debt relief will not have any meaningful effect on inflation. You will pay for it one way or another. National debt goes up. This is going to make it go up. We're not even going after our debt. I pay for my student loan and everyone else should pay for theirs too. Is there a worry that colleges will not now be incentivized to simply raise tuition rates? More students will be able to afford the higher cost because the, the maximum will be will be capped. And, and just one last thing is... Wait just, a minute. It, Wait. Okay. Hold on. Give me a fair. Do me... Uh, see, now you've already made me forget the first one. The first, the first question about costs of colleges, you heard the president emphasize in his remarks, and a key element of um, our plan is to uh, ensure that colleges that have jacked up prices and taken advantage of students, particularly those that have made wild promises about how much people will be able to uh, earn based on the, their degree program. That is something the Department of Education has already cracked down on and is going to continue to crack down on. So today's announcement will have a significant impact on people who have been disproportionately impacted by student debt. Nearly two-thirds of individuals, all debtors, will have half or more of their total debt wiped out, including the 20 million borrowers who will have their debt completely eliminated. That's 45% of the total. 20 million borrowers will have their debt completely eliminated. Two thirds will have half or more eliminated. The actions we are announcing today are going to be good for our economy. Leave this, this student loan debt. And lastly, I- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't we take them one at a time, okay? okay? All, right. all right, first of all, let, let's talk about the Pell Grant. The president has been very clear from the campaign forward, that he aims to double the maximum grant, the maximum size of the Pell Grant, um, to around thirteen thousand dollars from its current level around sixty-five hundred. He has, in his budget requests, asked for incremental increases to get to that doubling, and his FY23 budget request does that as well. In the FY22 of 22 appropriation uh, enacted. Uh, $400 uh, was uh, added to the maximum size of the Pell Grant, which, as I said in my remarks, is the largest increase in the decade. One last question. Is, is it possible for somebody to go out today and apply for a college loan knowing that it's, that it's going to be canceled? Or no. is there, what, what is the date by which somebody had you to? Had to you know, the loans that are eligible for relief um, were those that were um, uh, up until June 30th yeah, of, June, of this June, year, June 30th of this 2022. Year,